A severe weather event usually doesn't last but a few minutes, but if you're one of the many that suffer from storm stress and anxiety, that fear can start hours, weeks, or in some extreme cases, even months before the storm actually hits. Here in Oklahoma, we have people at all ranges, people that just are slightly concerned when they hear about severe weather to people with full blown, probably severe weather phobia. Rick Smith, who works at the National Weather Center, grew up with some of those fears. I grew up with storm anxiety severely. I was never in a, a storm that traumatized me. I was never in a tornado, but my mom was terrified of storms for whatever reason, and I think Looking at research, it seems like I absorb some of that. This turned into a fascination of storms during the day for Rick, but at night it was a whole different story. If it was a storm at night, it was a whole different world, and it was the unseen, it was the unknown, and I mean, it was just, I, I was just irrationally terrified of, of storms. That irrational fear eventually would take a back seat, and the urge to learn more about the storms led to a career in meteorology. And now Rick is helping other people overcome those fears. Rick says that in most cases, learning about storms and how to prepare for severe weather will help with the problem, but that's not always the case. Exposure to tornado video or tornado coverage or reading about tornadoes or watching shows that have tornado video or whatever, that can actually make it worse. If you suffer from storm anxiety, Make sure you follow our forecast to get the most up-to-date information about the upcoming storms. But you can also do a few things yourself. Create a plan. Be informed. Talk it out. Share your fears with others who can offer emotional support. And if none of this seems to help you or the child, make sure you contact a mental health professional to get help. In Oklahoma City, meteorologist Eric Garlick, KOCO 5 News.